episode 106, we wanted to explore a different part of this world, which was prophecies. And again, we didn't want to go straight to evil. We wanted to see goodness and is God speaking to somebody and really explore, could that actually be happening? You want to know if God speaks to me? Yes. And we wanted a prophet that was straightforward. So if there is a God and the God talks to people, he wouldn't give us riddles. Is Jeffrey Epstein a suicide? Ben. What? No. How was he killed? With a pillow. And he wouldn't necessarily come to someone who's standing on a pulpit. It might be someone who works in a childcare center. I need to talk to her again. Yes. In this episode also it touches upon this developing relationship between Leland and Cheryl. Let's go. This is my song. <laughs> it's always your song. Leland is clearly wanting to influence Kristen's life and doing it by going to the mother who's on a bad date and you're not sure whether the bad date was caused by him throwing a, like a supernatural case of pickups on someone. <laughs> Bathroom. Was your friend okay? Excuse me? Your friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, he just has some hiccups. He'll be fine. I knew a man that had hiccups like that. He had a heart attack and died. <laughs> and we liked exploring the psychological truth of Cheryl not accepting that Kristen has a legitimate reason to want Leland out of her life. What are you trying to do? Play on my better nature, Kristen? Seriously? Is that really your plan? He's just a kid. His second prison rape and he won't be anymore. No, he didn't say that. Not, yes, he's actually a psychopath or actually a demon. I love the scene where she's leading Leland out the back, pushing him ahead of her, and then grabbing calmly a knife from the butcher block because she knows exactly what she's going to do. You're not coming back here, ever. Do you understand? I have never been so turned on by you. It is this part of Kristen that I find enjoyable, this wanting so hard to protect her kids that actually it turns her into a little bit of a dangerous entity. This is outrageous. Yeah, get used to it. You have 18 minutes. Keep the dish towel. One of the things I enjoyed in episode six was this idea of we need to be careful of the color red. You need to avoid the color red for the next seven days. It sounds more like a, a, a fortune cookie than God. Sometimes God sounds like a fortune cookie. Kristen suddenly sees it around her and takes it off her daughter and there it is on her mom. Well, what's that? What? Your jacket, it's, it's red. Yeah, it's new. All right, would you mind wearing this instead? Why? I, I don't like the way red stands out. The other thing we liked about it was this idea of the most scientific person has an element of superstition in them. And if you don't like red, why are you wearing those earrings? Our wardrobe designer, Dan Lawson, is a genius. And so he's been able to continue that throughout the season. You're going to see more of that color red to be aware of.